you read me? You made it. Yes, a nasty habit of mine. Where are you now? I just entered the lower deck. Roger. I'll head that way myself. I've obtained a map of the lower deck. I'll transmit it to you now. They've abandoned any pretense of hiding what they're doing, and are making full use of their merchandise. What? Those monsters are just a sampling of their product line. They're creating cyborgs. And was I slated to become one too? We didn't have proof at the time. <laughs> Whatever. So, not only is Alan back, but he's let us know that all those robots we've been killing are cyborgs made out of dead bodies. Oh no, <laughs> it's the people we already killed once in the arena. <laughs> That's right. See, if we hadn't killed them, <laughs> there wouldn't be as many cyborgs in part two. I mean, it does make it make sense that they have bones that Nina Williams can keep breaking and completely demolishing. Right, and a heart and a brain. Yeah. So and fingerprints. This is like that part of Metal Gear Solid 3 where, like, um, you go through, like, the river of all the people you killed. So, like, if you skip the intro, Nina isn't able to kill all those people and you don't have to fight the cyborgs. Right. Speaking of cyborgs, um, these ones with the blades, you'll see more. Just have a bunch of moves that fucking suck. <laughs> did, uh -huh. did he shoot, like, a grappling hook at you or something? Uh, he shoots his fist out and it's on, like, a chain. Oh my god. It's like, that sucks. The The sword just has a really long range. The cyborgs are absolutely at their worst in groups. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're ever really good. No. <laughs> oh, that was a sick dodge, though. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> they just have a lot of range on these blades, too. They just go behind them. So there's no, like, really efficient way of dodging unless you just, like, kind of are able to guess what their attack pattern is going to be. Yeah, I think the weirdest things about these cyborgs is that their moveset feels more like they're supposed to be like an anchor next to like a regular human enemies, right? Yeah, and instead it's just like three of them around and they all have some like really annoying long range attack. Mm hmm. So there, it was basically after you got that one huge cyborg sword uh, and completely demolished a couple of them with it. Now the game is coming at you going like, well, now you see how it is, you dumb asshole. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. Oh, you, you like big swords? Well, we'll see if you like them now. That kind of shit. Anyways, uh, the, the power to the system down here is not working, so we can't open any of the cool doors. We can't take any of the cool elevators. So we got to find another way to get around here. God, every time you do one of those puzzles and you're one solution away, I'm like, I'm like the skeptical guy eating cereal meme where it's like, no way he <laughs> ever solves this puzzle. <laughs> you, you know, it, it's fascinating because they're the sorts of puzzles that seem really easy. But like when you do them, like actually trying to conceptualize the solution is like the hardest part. Like, you can see all the moves in front of you, but you can't actually, like, conceptualize the actual moves. No, if I was playing this game, I 100% would just, like, not do half of these. <laughs> I'd be like, uh, I think I got- I don't. Listen, I understand, like, the difficulty starts because, like, there's, like, a guy on there, but he's also a horse, and that's fucking crazy, man. Like, who came <laughs> up with that one? Yeah, you're like trying to figure out what the picture is. It's like putting together a jigsaw puzzle. You're like, but you don't okay, see what how the cover do I, is. How do I separate this man from this horse? I don't. I, <laughs> where's the piece for that? <laughs> I need to fix this affront to God. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask, like, do you you do you look more at the numbers or at the picture? Uh, numbers for sure. If I try to do it with the picture, I don't think I'd ever get it. I'm gonna be honest, Chirps. That sounds like a very game FAQ's answer. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the way we uh, get around is that we go in the submarine, and then we jump out the submarine. <laughs> oh, please be... <gasps> yeah, it is. There we go. <laughs> Don't worry, we're we're getting close to the end of the the collection aspect of this game. That one's so easy. It saying, feels like a, it should be like a trap where like if you grab that one, then you get blocked off from getting two other ones. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, they don't, like, super strong hide all of them, but the idea is that, like, the more you get, the better your new game plus is. So I think that they kind of throw some at you as, like, a gimme to kind of get you the idea of looking around, and I think you get enough to, like, get one extra defibrillator or something, but they they really try to hide the other ones from you. Well, you know, like, you gotta get some easy ones to get the best ending, where uh, Nina Williams throws those 20 coins on the floor and dives into them like Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> right. <laughs> then she gets, like, poisoning from putting them in your mouth. Okay, a lion and a goat? Come on, man. Like, stop smoking drugs. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. They could never hang out. Yeah. One eats the other. No, I, I've true. hung out with Chimera before at a party. He was chill. Was I don't know. Last time I was at a party with Chimera, I did not have a good time. Well, that was because you were high on drugs. <laughs> That's true. And I kept uh, going up to you and going, You're high on drugs, Sharps. You're high on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Tech and Nina Williams knew to kill me. That I was the lead villain, so thanks for that. Yeah, then I called an Uber for you, but I made the Uber, like, drive around, like, the police station for, like, half an hour before taking you home. <laughs> yeah, Chimera came to me and asked him, like, where, where's Chorps? And I just had to tell him, like, <laughs> dude, he's out back and he's on dust. <laughs> <laughs> Again, not a single one of the cool doors is available to us. <laughs> We gotta figure out why it would turn on the power down here. Fucked up that there's power at the top, but not at the bottom of this cruise ship. Uh, if you ever well, hear the power the rises, pyramids. Oh. <laughs> no, I hadn't thought about the pyramids. Yeah. Well, just okay. Imagine a pyramid. Mm-hmm. Now imagine if lightning were to strike it. Where do you think all the electricity <laughs> would be? <laughs> oh, you're right. You're so right. It would be at the top where the spaceship is. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of pyramids, who's, like, the fighting game character most likely to fall for an MLM? Paul? Paul. Uh, okay, fighting game character or Tekken Well, all character. fighting game characters, or do we want to be Tekken? <laughs> I, I think, we, uh, yeah, we can stick to Tekken for now. Okay, Paul. Uh, Greg Marduk. Okay. Outside of that, I would probably say Dan. I think, um... Heiachi would fall for one, but he would become the the top of the MLM. Right, yeah. like he would actually find a way to win the MLM. Yeah, yeah. and so would Den from Street Fighter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just but that's by accident. That's like a that's like a Mr. Bean, Mr. Magoo ass kind of situation. Yeah. Anyways, you may have noticed a lot of robots, and in fact, one of the other large robots we saw on Prison Island. The, the new concept of difficulty in this game is, how many guys can we throw at you? <laughs> We're gonna put in more robots than granola bars, and that should be difficulty. That's right. And hopefully none of the guys drop any of the granola bars. So we did all that so that we could uh, climb across that uh, that beam. Because now it only uh, p pushes out pressure sometimes. Before that, though, um, it's time for a fight, and it's kind of got the worst angles for a fight like oh this. Oh my god. <laughs> Hell yeah. Because, like, unless you kind of run and take the idea that you might get hit by a bunch of them to another camera point, this is where you're stuck, and so they kind of just stick you against the wall. This is the again. These are like like last time. These are the kinds of fights that I save all of my weapons for because <laughs> they're just gonna throw twenty guys at you. <laughs> I do like that they carry bottles of water and granola bars. Like even though they're cyborgs, they're still treated like kids at a pee wee soccer game. I mean, it's to it's to remind them that they were human once. It's like they Robocop, still have stomachs. Right? They still can can enjoy a little granola bar. They still need yeah. to stay hydrated. Yeah, yeah. fucking, yeah. like, look at those six-packs. You need the exact <laughs> right diet for that. Yeah. A uh, new robot type here, really annoying, has, like, a flamethrower on its arm, and also, like, a grenade launcher on the other arm. Well, that just seems dangerous for them. They also love T-posing. 
You know how that flamethrower is powered? Cliff bars. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So I try to focus on them first because the fire is one of those where, like, it doesn't necessarily knock you out, but it will hit you multiple times um, if it if it hits you once. And it just covers the screen. Yeah. So it's just not fun. <laughs> the other robots way more manageable. Totally fine if they want to make me fight multiple of these, even though I've complained about it already. This game should have friendly fire. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't think... It, besides the ones where it's specifically built in, like that robot that could run over um, uh, run over Enrique, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, have you never tried sniping Alan in one of those sections? I actually, you know, I hadn't tried because uh, every usually by the time that you get to there, it's like, oh, it's been a while since the last save point. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so okay. I'm always like, I don't want to try. I, you probably can, though. I'm going to guess that you can, and he'll be like, hey, stop shooting me, asshole. You know? He just gives you the finger. Or no, he's like British MI6. He would say, like, he would say some other some other insult besides asshole. Yeah, he would call you, uh... <laughs> I shan't say. <laughs> yeah, he would probably call you some word for taxi they use. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and then when you shoot him, he goes, Oh, I have to go to hospital. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can see, they kind of turn on, turn off. The th This is not like a difficult thing. The problem is that every time you move Nina once, she likes to move twice, and so you kind of end up there where you fall down the camera angle doesn't help it either it doesn't give a great idea of how far you are in comparison to the steam do you think if that happened to you uh you would take more damage from like the steam or the falling the steam i don't know it's a fall it's a long way down it's not a short way down certainly i guess i just feel like for as long as, I guess uh, maybe Nina has the right idea. Like, she immediately lets go as soon as the steam hits her. She could probably last through it, but she doesn't want to, right? And that's why she's such a well-regarded international spy. She knows how to take less damage. I realized her outfit makes her look like Sheik from, like, Brawl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, don't wait. Later, we will get magic powers, so. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's Really, by quite a wide margin, is the most sensible outfit she's had on so far. Yeah. Um, least likely to be destroyed. Yeah. Which is also how I would vote for it in, you know, like a like a high school, like, yearbook. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It looks like a, a suit the crazy frog would wear. <laughs> is that a problem? He's, I don't know, he's got a pretty sensible concept of what to wear. He's, he's a racer. Listen, I'm just saying, like, whoever owns Crazy Frog, they better be looking at their lawyers when they see this game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it was like a crossover thing, right? Like, mm -hmm. what Te Tekken can have gone and Crazy Frog can have Tekken's Nina Williams outfit. Yeah. <laughs> and what about Crazy Frog? What can they have? Uh, they're uh, they're fun and sensible up top. Nothing just nothing but party down below. <laughs> right. If you look close enough at Crazy Frog's little wang, you'll realize it's <laughs> actually Paul's hair. <laughs> oh my god! I'm cutting that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because I'm American, I don't want to see that little thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't either. That's not that's not just a you thing. You don't get to okay. have that for yourself. Oh yeah, in America they couldn't handle Crazy Frog's penis, but they can't handle Crazy Frog being bisected in half. Yeah. That's true. It's so cruel. The one good person you found here, you killed him. He was just yeah, jamming out. Yeah, he was just out. singing along. Yeah. Uh, fun fact too is he's the guy who lost the card that we stole, so I feel like this is just insult to injury at this point. <laughs> Yeah, if you had given the card back, he would have let you go. No questions asked. 
have been like, oh god, I've been I've been stuck in this room forever because <laughs> because I don't have my card. Dude, I've been looking for so long for a second player for Crazy Frog Racers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when the uh, when the schematics of the boat aren't up there, that's what's what's up on the screen. Is they're just playing Crazy Frog Racer. Unfortunately, it hasn't been the same since all the cyborgs came in. They're too good at the game. Yeah. But yeah, as you can see, even more so than previous sections, they're just throwing shit at you because they they know that the robots are just going to be a pain in the ass to fight. They're like, oh shit, we didn't have enough puzzles in this adventure game. That's right. They saved all the puzzles for the secret area of the cruise ship. That's why everyone likes being here instead of, you know, anywhere else. Is because like, oh, this is where all the cool stuff happens. It feels like they just randomly decided, actually, it's Professor Layton now. That's what this game is. This game would be better with more matchstick puzzles, I agree. Like, that's how you know Heihachi's twisted, because every puzzle would be the dead dog matchstick puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you, like, a father and a son, and it tells you which one goes inside the volcano. <laughs> you know how, instead of, like, writing your signature in Japanese companies, they have, like, stamps and shit, right? Mm hmm Yeah. The Mishima Saibatsu stamp is the dead dog matchstick puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a great logo, right? Just to have, like, on your building. Yuck. <laughs> Anyways, with that, the power has been restored, so next time, we actually get to explore the basement.